I always say that when I'm driving a Rolls Royce, it makes me feel like I'm an important person even when I'm very much not an important person. And here, we're gonna grab this and spend a, a day or two spending some time seeing what it's like to live with a Rolls Royce Cullinan. And if you want to, I mean, you can get this from Miami Luxury Cars or get a Huracan or another Huracan. Take a look at this. We are at Miami Luxury Cars. Some of you may remember years ago when I came down to Miami and I had a gray Lamborghini Urus. It was from the awesome team at Miami Luxury Cars and they certainly have upgraded their space. Exotic car rental here in Miami and this showroom, there's no other word to describe it, this is a showroom, is a masterpiece. Wow, they're just cool cars everywhere. We're gonna be spending some time with with something cool, right? We gotta, we gotta pick something cool in Miami. The weather is absolutely perfect and there are just endless choices. We got like a detail wash service bay over there and just car after car. Supercars should look like Skittles and they certainly do here at Miami Luxury Cars. This Rolls Royce Cullinan, check out the interior. If you're getting a car like this, you better get it with a badass interior. And this one, look at that blue, the starry headliner, that is absolutely amazing, and I think I think I'm gonna go with this one. Let's let's spend a day or two living with a Rolls Royce Cullinan with just the most epic of interior spec. Look at this thing: the 720s, 48 Spider, the new F8, Huracan, Huracan Evo. Oh, look at this guy hiding back here. I think this is the one that's the painted blue Cepheus, the official vehicle of Miami. Oh, it's the yellow interior too. Wait a sec, is this unlocked? Check that out, oh man. That's a badass spec. The back seat of a Rolls Royce Conan. Oh, this door's not fully closed. There we go. The amount of legroom is staggering back here. And also this blue interior, you're gonna hear me drool over this blue interior, not literally, figuratively, because we don't want to get it dirty a lot in this video because it's absolutely gorgeous. And of course, starry headliner. Starry Headliner is the most important option when you're buying a Rolls Royce, and I think this might have the shooting star. I'm not sure. We'll have to watch for that. If you order a Rolls Royce and you don't get the Starry Headliner, go back and try again. Come on. Oh, there, one went. It's all that. We'll capture that more later. It's so cool. And just like that, we've got the keys to the colon with the paint matched key. Blue and more blue. Time to spend some time living with a Rolls Royce Cullinan. Let's go, we gotta head back towards downtown and we've got a nice dinner tonight. But into the passenger seat we go. Or into the driver's seat, I'm driving. Why did I just say that? Sun is setting as we head into downtown Miami and a Cullinan. Just look at the spirit of ecstasy. I love looking out over the hood and seeing that. You can actually raise and lower it from within the infotainment system. If we scroll over to I passed it. My vehicle, Spirit of Ecstasy. We can raise and lower. So I zoom in right there. We can go ahead and lower it, retract it, goodbye. And it can pop it back out again. Hot ornaments are just so much fun. They're so cool. Digital displays here, and also I love on Rolls Royces, it's a power reserve. It's how much power are you using? How much, actually not even how much you're using. How much do you have remaining as you bury your foot in the throttle? There's no tachometer, there's no gear indicator, there's no paddle shifters. You don't need to know, you're in a Rolls Royce. Just ride that wave of torque. And this thing is definitely powerful. It's a twin turbo V12. Also, it is currently snowing in Chicago and like below zero, so I am thankful for 79 degrees. And it, well, it was sunny, the sun is setting now, but. What are you trying to figure out? What is this thing here? That's the handle for oh. closing. It just, it's the little, oh. the little grip thing when you close the door, right? Or obviously we have the buttons, which we will demonstrate because you shouldn't have to use that for it to close the door in a Rolls Royce. We haven't moved for like five minutes. Welcome to Miami. Cancel. <laughs> because of course she has a British accent. Actually, I wonder how much you can do. Turn on driver's heated seat. Please operate the driver assistance systems manually. Oh, so you're not that smart, are you? Actually. Call Andrew Mernone. Function currently not available. We are useless! Active. Oh, just order some fish and chips. <laughs> Deliver me some fish and chips, matey. 
Fish and chips, 1146 oh, West. We're gonna head over to visit the guys at Voss and Wheels, see their facility, and of course, we're gonna take the Rolls Royce. You just, you just feel so important in this thing, and it's, it's very expensive. I looked at the market, and the cheapest high mile early year, like 30,000 mile Rolls Royce calling in is $300,000. Slightly nearer ones with moderate miles on them are between three fifty dollars to $400,000. Some brand new top of the market are half a million dollars, so this is a, I believe a 2023 with 3,500 miles on it. So we'll call it, I don't know, 450,000 to half a million. That is a very nice house in most places in the world. And it's a car and we're, we're gonna take it for a nice drive today. Something that is absolutely amazing with all Rolls Royces is the level of isolation. So with the windows down, we get the outside coming in, one of the freeway and some traffic. You hear trucks, you hear wind, you hear tire noise. We go ahead and just roll these windows up and it just cocoons you in silence, you're isolated from the world. Nothing really bothers you. I actually, we've been in traffic in Miami in the Cullinan, and I actually don't really mind traffic in a Rolls Royce because got the massage seats going, the cool seats are going, and you're just so insulated from everything else out there. It's it's quite a nice experience. Just got a pretty cool tour of the Vossen facility. They have some really cool wheels that are designed for the Rolls Royce Cullinan. This thing would look awesome on some Vossens. Back in the car, we're gonna head back towards downtown Miami. Of course, you never close the door of the Rolls Royce yourself. You just press and hold the button and the door will close for you. It is the best. Also, the start stop button's on the left side here. Fires are up. Very nice, gentle, calming, welcome sounds. Let's do a walk around of the exterior and interior of the Rolls Royce to show you some of the amazing details on this luxury SUV. Let's start with the exterior. It's immediately recognizable as a Rolls Royce because of that big grill, the imposing rectangular metal grill with these vertical slats here. We got this brushed finish, the Rolls Royce badge, and of course, the spirit of ecstasy. The hood ornament on the Rolls Royce. It's this like flying lady here with her wings back. It is retractable, but when you have it up, it is so iconic. It is such a status symbol to have a hood ornament. Older luxury cars had really cool hood ornaments. I actually like that aspect of them seeing the different like airplane shaped or animal shaped inspired ones, but that's really gone away outside of Rolls Royce and Bentley. But this right here, this is iconic and it is absolutely awesome. The spirit of ecstasy. And then as you take a step back, I mean the DRLs, it's, it's very rectangular squared off. The DRLs here kind of tie it into the rest of the Rolls Royce family. Now the Ghost has much more rectangular shape, but also you'll note the little yellow triangle. This has the BMW laser headlight system. So that's a little warning sticker that's required. But then within the headlight, you have the double RR and also the headlight shape. You kind of see how it drops down here. That echoes the overall shape of the Series 2 Ghost and Wraith and Dawn. If you look at that, just overall outline shape. Again, it's a super imposing up front. This thing is just <laughs> ridiculous. Now coming around to this side, like I mentioned, the floating center caps, those will always stay upright. These are 22 inch wheels. And the Conan is so big that actually like, I mean, it looks proportional, but if you went to 23s, 24s, I wouldn't say it's bad or anything. Massive, massive luxury SUV. Another Rolls Royce logo here on the side. We do have side cameras. And then, like I've shown, we have rear hinge doors on the back, regular hinge doors on the front. Nice chrome work here. This is a regular Cullinan. You can get a black badge, which blacks out everything. and actually makes a bit more horsepower. Under the hood, there is a twin turbo V12, like in the Phantom. Oh no, wait, this might be the, actually, which twin turbo V12 is this? I have to look it up, but it's like 563 horsepower, which I think might be the lower tier twin turbo V12. Regardless, it is an ample amount of power and torque. It is an overwhelming mountain of power and torque. The other crazy thing about Rolls Royce is you can spec them however you want. This one went very bold on the interior. The exterior is pretty much standard white, chrome, and kind of gray black wheels, but the interior of this one is truly special. We'll get to that in a moment, but I want to check out under the hood. Do -do -do. <laughs> Even that's like a calming harp sound. Pop in the hood on the Rolls Royce. Whoop. There we go, V12. 6.75 of the V12. So I do think that's a Phantom one, because I think that goes with a different one. Anyways, twin turbo V12 is absolutely beastly. Allegedly, with a Rolls Royce V12, you can put a quarter standing on it and rev it and it shouldn't fall over. I, I don't think I'm gonna try it on this one, but allegedly you can do that. 
soft closed doors too. So if you were to actually try to close it yourself, of course you can't slam the door. Gently let it latch and it pulls itself shut. Standard on the Rolls Royce, has to be, right? You also know the umbrellas are not in here. I'm assuming because this is part of a exotic car rental fleet, they have to pull them out because they're probably, I don't know, two, three thousand a piece, maybe more, and you wouldn't want those wandering away. And then coming around back, again, it just, it looks like a Rolls Royce. I don't know how else to describe it. It just got the Rolls Royce iconic in simple shaped lights, behemoth of a luxury land yacht. And it's so quiet, or it's been idling here, I mean, that's on. That's a 6.75 liter V12. If you had a six and a half liter V12 Aventador, I'd be screaming right now over it. You have the split tailgate. There we go. That opens, that's fancy. What we do have, we can recline the second row seats, or I guess fold down if you need storage space, so that it extends all the way through. There is a little shelf there though, but also there's another button on this side. If I go over to the actual passenger side, there's buttons in here. I can control the recline of both seats. So that drops there, and then this button, I think. There you go, split fold 60-40. But if you need to put, I don't know, furniture in here or something, or skis, that's actually, I mean, this is an SUV. You have to have some amount of practicality. That's kind of crazy, actually. And we're gonna go ahead and put both of them back up. Okay. Does it go up? Of course it goes up. Of course, why did I even ask that question? It's a Rolls Royce, you don't have to do any work. Although there's a couple little kind of, those buttons, I think those are BMW buttons. It makes the BMW lock and unlock chime. That is iDrive. That's an iDrive knob there. So we'll talk about that for a second, actually. The fact that there are some BMW touches to any modern Rolls Royce is like a pro and a con to me. It's good, that means it works, right? It's from a much larger company. It's not some random hand-built, hand-assembled thing that may or may not work, especially electronics and technology. You look at some like mid-2000s bespoke small volume vehicles, they're like infotainment, nav systems, electronics are a complete nightmare. So from that regard, it's nice. But then you also want it to be truly bespoke at this price point, right? This is, call it $400,000, half a million dollar luxury SUV. Everything better be top tier unmatched and unique the Cullinan does deliver that in Rolls Royces everything you touch is what it looks like it should be right so if it's a leather piece it's actually leather like that's all leather 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 even inside the door pockets that's all leather if it looks like it should be metal it is metal look just like condensation on these air vents it is humid we have two door buttons right there and the left one closes my driver door and the right one will close the passenger door from here that's pretty convenient. Look at the blue leather inside this one. The blue and black two-tone spec is truly remarkable. With the black stitching here, some black piping around the seats, and then of course, starry headliner, shooting star headliner. If I show this for long enough, we will see a shooting star. There's another shooting star. Such a cool thing. So obviously you don't get a sunroof anymore, but that, that's a good trade-off. And the level of bespokeness, bespokeness, that's a word now, bespokeness of the Rolls Royce, you can set the starry headliner to a specific constellation star arrangement of like a specific date and time, whether it's your birthday, the day you were born, your marriage date, or, or wedding, marriage date? Wedding, the day you were married? Something like that. That's the level of customization you can do. It's so cool. Then across the dash here, we have the clock, which is not a specific brand. Like on a Bentley, it's Breitling. We do, it does says Cullinan right there. And then this center screen here is a reskin iDrive, but I mean, it works, right? It works pretty well. It does have wireless CarPlay, so I have my phone connected to it. Yep, that is definitely nice. Go back there. We have those like hot buttons that you can sync to certain settings, just like on BMWs. Coming down, we've got these air vents, volume, door lock, hazards. These are the push-pull. The stoppers, that's metal. It has a very nice feel to it. See, that's the little details. That's what makes this truly special. It's like a textured leatherish surface. And then we have, as I mentioned before, the airspeed. It's not numbers, it's soft, medium, high, max. I would like max air, please. I'd like medium air, or soft. No, it's blowing too hard. Give me soft air, please. I love that. Heated, cooled, heated steering wheel, so the seats, defog, all the settings here. It's just such a nice, everything is such a nice tactile experience. 
And then we have cup holders. Slide this forward. We've got more buttons. Air suspension allows you to raise and lower the vehicle. We have a camera system. We have an off-road mode because this is a colon and it is an SUV, right? A um, little bit more storage right there. And then you have the iDrive rotary dial, which has the spirit of ecstasy on it, which is pretty cool. More buttons. Pretty good size center console too. A bunch of stuff in there. USB-C port was down in there. Big, very thin steering wheel. This is this has such light steering. You can drive it with like one finger, just like super light. Um, but it's just it's simple, right? Even like the gear selector, the transmission selector is super, almost dainty feeling. Down, up for reverse, and then at the very end, the button there for a park. This right here is for windshield wipers. And here you have the turn signals. Start stop is on this left side here. Got some driver assistance stuff, parking brake. We have controls for the starry headliner here. This turns on and off the shooting star and then these are for the intensity, the brightness. And the rear seats are pretty spacious too. You can get so many options. Executive rear seat package, which I should hop back there and show. Into the second row we go. This blue is such a cool spec. Miami Luxury Cars has several Cullinans to pick from. They have a black one with an orange interior, there's a white one with an orange interior, but I saw this blue interior, I was like, yeah, that one. This is so cool. As you guys see with the Z06, I love blue interiors, but second row space on the Cullinan is pretty nice. I'm six foot three, and this has plenty of leg room for me here. Look at that. I believe there's a four seat configuration where this becomes a big like center thing, but even this, Cup holders. Everything is leather, even like behind here. Leather, leather. Let's open this up. Got some storage in here. You can get like the picnic tables, the screens. There's so many options you can put on Rolls Royces. Go absolutely crazy, right? There is pretty much no, nothing you can't do. It's all a matter of can you afford it. <laughs> That's the world of Rolls Royce where it's not yes or no. It's a how much. And actually there's, I don't think these people here know when they're specking. You can do some crazy, crazy things. I remember when the Phantom first launched underneath the dashboard there, there's like that big piece of glass and underneath it, you can put some form of art. There's like some off the shelf stuff you can pick, but you can also commission something special. You can do whatever wood combination, leather, other exotic materials. It's it's seemingly endless a level of customization, and as a result, you see some really, really remarkable specs on all the different Rolls Royces. This is for people who have really kind of achieved something impressive, and sometimes it's a reward for themselves. You can get like custom sill plates with a special little message on them. It's really the top tier. There's nothing above Rolls Royce. There's stuff that tries to compete. We're talking Bentley, Maybach, and the end, right? This is the upper echelon. This is. This makes regular BMWs and Mercedes and Audis feel very pedestrian. So there's a tour of the Rolls-Royce Cullinan when driving this thing. is you're just so isolated. You just feel just completely cocooned from the world. And that, I think, is just so unique, right? Very few things can deliver that. With that, let's hop back inside. I'm going to set up a couple GoPros. We're going to take it for a quick drive. Oh, I am doing un rolls royce like behavior. Whoa. Yeah, see, that's fast. Feel the suspension squat as it just kind of goes, yachting. It's like a boat on like a, yeah. <laughs> so if I had to decide between Cullinan Phantom or Ghost, that's actually a hard comparison. Now I've never driven a Phantom, but haven't been around them. You don't understand the scale of a Phantom until you see it in context of other cars. They're massive. Cullinans are big, but Phantoms are like the size of like a Range Rover Sport. They are absolutely enormous, and they're also the most expensive. They're like $700,000 to get you a new Phantom. But in certain ways, actually, the Cullinan's appealing because you get a lot of the Cullinan size and presence for a lot less money. So it's really interesting in that regard. Which the new Ghost is also very, very nice. A little bit more kind of driver focused. I think the new platform also has rear wheel steering, all wheel drive, some of the newer tech, sharper styling too. Uh, could I pick? Um, I don't think so. Uh, right now, actually spending more time with the Cullinan, I'm actually really, really liking it. It has a lot of presence. It's big, a lot of space. It's pretty awesome. But if you put me in a Ghost for another week, I'd probably be like, ah, oh, the Ghost is actually pretty nice too. You'll see we have the overhead view camera, the rear, but I think we can also go to the side ones where it renders out the car. That's pretty cool. I wonder if we can, pan oh yeah, look at this. Check this out. Whoa, you can pan around in real time, I think, actually. If I start driving, 
in reverse it moves. Yeah, this is always really cool. I'm gonna drive and <laughs> live updates. That's so cool. As I'm wrapping up my time with the Rolls Royce Cullinan, some final thoughts. I mean, this thing is obviously nice. I've said it many, many times. That's an understatement. In the realm of SUVs, really nothing compares to it. The GLS Maybach, I think it's better to drive because underneath the GLS Maybach is a GLS normal, which is still absolutely nice. It's like an S-Class and SUV form, but it's the back seats that really shine. The Cullinan just gives you this overall feeling that you are important, even though I am very unimportant. It's just cool. Seeing the Spirit of Ecstasy up front is so badass. It does make the Bentley Bentayga feel completely ordinary, right? Very much Audi feeling, which again, the Bentley Bentayga is still very nice, but it cannot compete with the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. If I had to pick between this and a brand new Ghost, honestly, after spending more time with the Cullinan, it becomes a little more difficult of a choice because this has a bit more presence. It's bigger. I passed a new Ghost as I drove by and it looked smaller because it's not big SUV size, right? If I could afford a Phantom and a driver, I'd have a Phantom and a driver, but I am like 18 tax brackets too low for that. Special thanks again to Miami Luxury Cars for letting me borrow this Rolls-Royce Cullen in for a couple of days and experience just a little glimpse on what it's like to live with a Rolls Royce Cullen in. It is such an awesome vehicle, especially this spec. They've got a couple more black with orange, white with orange, but the white with the blue is my favorite. If you're down in Miami, you want to spend a couple days with this, it is available. Check out their website. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed making it. Thanks for watching.